Today I want to address time for Christians to wake up. You see, the Bible says in Galatians 1 verse 4 that Christ died that he might deliver us from this present evil world. Now that tells us that the world is not a neutral place. In fact, the Lord Jesus Christ tells us that his kingdom is not of this world. My kingdom is not of this world. Christians are not relevant to the world. The world has a different God, not the Christian God. The world is made up of those who are not saved, not born again. The Lord Jesus Christ has made it clear that we are to be separate from this world. We are not to be friends of the world. In fact, Christians are strangers and pilgrims. This is a special announcement to the world from Isaiah chapter 13 verse 11 and I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity and I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible He the word of the Lord Now, it's important to understand that there is to be no compromise with the world. The Bible is very clear that compromisers must repent. The spirit of error is in the world. Now, in Revelation 3, verse 19, this is what the Lord Jesus Christ says. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore and repent. Are you loved by the Lord Jesus Christ? If you're a child of God, you are. So there will be a bit of rebuking and chastening in your life. Heed the word of the Lord. Galatians 1 verse 4 tells Christians that Christ delivered us from this present evil world. There is no compromise with the world. According to Romans 12, it says, be not conformed to this world. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Christians are commanded by God to be different and separate from the world. For example, in Romans 12 verse 2, the scripture says, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Jesus also said in John 14 verse 15, If ye love me, Keep my commandments. But as he which hath called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. Do you love Jesus? He loves you. And he will rebuke and chasten you when it's necessary. And we have to be people that are not compromisers with the world. Satan is the world's Lord. The Lord Jesus Christ is our Lord. He is the God of this world. The people of God are a holy nation. The unsaved are the children of disobedience. True Christians are strangers and pilgrims on the earth. The ungodly are them that are lost. And Christians are kings and priests unto God. The Bible tells us that many false prophets are gone out into the world. The spirit of Antichrist is in the world. There is a scripture which tells us that the world is a war zone. It is not a neutral place. For Christians, the world is a place full of sin and wickedness. We are called to be holy. The scripture tells us in 1 John 5 verse 19, And we know that we are of God, and the whole world lieth in wickedness. Sin entered the world, and death by sin. There is a call. There is a call to the church worldwide to stop the compromise with the world, say that the word of God is true, and stand in that word no matter what. Read the book on the Victory Faith Centre website. Now that you are a Christian, read it and listen to what it says.